It's a great honor to be first out and present the winner of Stockholm Film Festival's award for best debut. I'm sure this won't be the last time we'll hear from this very talented director. This was a year filled with excellent debuting directors, which makes this category more competitive than ever. The jury would like to hand this award to a first-time director who has proved that she is here to stay. A powerful film that stays with you, all kept together by the precise choices of its director. A director who gets top-tier performances out of her ensemble of fantastic actors, whose characters try to navigate the gray zones of consent. The award for best debut goes to How to Have Sex by Molly Manning Walker. <laughs> Hello, I'm the director of How to Have Sex, and um, thank you so much for the Best Debut Award. It's a lot of our first film, and so it feels very special to win this award and to be celebrated, and what a magical ride it's been, and thank you for being a part of it. Really sorry that we can't be there to celebrate with you tonight, but thanks again. Every May was 2.11 seconds. And since then, the short films have been a format that allows for some of the most ex experimental and interesting expressions in cinema. This year's winner has undoubtedly impressed and moved the jury. It is a sad, beautiful, and poetic film that, with precision, show us how fragile life can be. The creators approach a burning and relevant topic in a touching and heartbreaking way. It's a film that captivates the viewer, leaving us with lasting impressions and curiosity. This film excels in its format and is a thrilling testament to the power of the short film. And the best international short film goes to Cuarto de Hora by Nemo Arancibia. Hola, soy Memo Arancibia, director del cortometraje de Cuarto de Hora. Eh, estoy muy emocionado y agradecido con el Festival de Cine de Estocolmo por este reconocimiento. Quiero aprovechar también de agradecer al equipo de la película por su gran compromiso con la técnica y la narrativa y por el talento de cada uno y una. Y bueno, en coherencia con el tema de nuestro cortometraje, me gustaría dedicar este premio a todas las personas migrantes alrededor del mundo, así también como a las personas que han sido desplazadas de sus casas. Creo que nadie puede ser ilegal en ningún lugar y no deben ser perseguidos ni marginados por el espacio de tierra que habitan. I think we see our reflections of light and one of the cinematographer's role is to use that light to capture everything from a bright passion kiss to the ominous shadow of a murderer lurking in the dark. Now the motivation. With an innovative and sensitive use of natural light, stark contrast between the expansive Russian peripheral landscapes and the interior of a van, as well as careful use of color, this cinematographer has created a visual experience that is as profound, melancholic, and contemplative as the film itself. The film's visual language, characterized by its ethereal quality, rhythm, and impressive scope, allows the viewers to engage with the film on an intuitive level. The award for best cinematography goes to Nikolai Cheludovic for Grace.
Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Nikolai. I'm a director of photography of the movie Grace. And it's a big honor for me to get this prize and to be selected for your film festival. Uh, so thanks a lot to everyone, to the audience and to the jury and to everyone who is somehow connected to this great film festival. And I'm trying to imagine myself how I'm going to be with it. And yeah, again, thanks. It's a pleasure to be here to, to join in the celebration of all this amazing culture and uh, creativity. On behalf of Sky Showtime, I would like to thank the festival team for a fantastic program of events over the past two weeks. It's been an honor to join as a partner, and I hope many of the audience tonight has actually enjoyed our exclusive screening of our upcoming series, The Curse, that was uh, screened last night. It feels fitting that Sky Showtime is presenting this Rising Star Award, seeing we are the new streaming kid on the block uh, as we launched our streaming service just one year ago. I don't envy the jury for this tough decision, but I would like to especially thank Adelan Esmani for joining the panel this year. Adelan stars in our Sky Showtime original series, Codename Annika, which premiered here in Stockholm in September. Code Manica really emphasizes our commitment into local content and local talent. And we're excited to continue this commitment through 2024 and beyond. And we would be overjoyed to cast such talent as represented in this category. However, there must only be one winner, and over to you, Sarah, to pass on this prestigious title. Thank you. Well, so much young talent, so many films, and so many series to watch. Here are this year's nominees for the Sky Showtime Rising Star Award. <laughs> Bianca Del Bravo, Malte Gordingen, Kunai Pena Scala, Felicia Maxim, and Hanna Adina. And this year's winner is an actor who embodies the character who, with her entire being, lives in the story. Her intuitive and vivid acting allows one to read the drama with and through her. We look forward to following this year's rising star towards new heights. Congratulations, Hanna Adi. Men tack så jättemycket och tack alla nominerade med mig också. Ha en fin kväll.